In the beginning, I believed that I was fortunate enough to be a slave for a Christian master. That is until he decided to sell off my family and I when he collected a large sum of debt and was unable to pay them back. The first one sold was my 14-year-old sister. Go, 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 take her away! I wanted to say my last goodbye to my dear sister, but even that was not allowed. At this moment, I felt infuriated. I wanted revenge towards those who opposed us. But inside, I knew I was still just a slave who had no rights. And that was the last time I saw my precious sister. Since the very beginning, my wife and I have been thinking of plans after plans to escape. None of them seems reliable enough to follow through. But that was until I thought of something very clever and very unique. miles through slave state. It's impossible. It's worth a try. I feel like God is on our side. All we have to do is to buy men's clothes every day. Since we have five dollars total, we can go to some random guy and just buy one clothes per day. And just dress you up like a guy. So then I can, you know. But I feel like it's gonna work. It's gonna work. I hope we get to see. But before anything started, we had to get permission from our masters, and so we did. Can I get permission to be on vacation, master? Since you've been working hard lately, I guess I'm on vacation now. Thank you. Who is it? It's me, master. I've come. What do you want? Could you please give me permission to go on a vacation? I've been working really hard lately. I haven't been receiving any much pay. So could you please do me a favor and give me this vacation? Well, maybe just this once, since you've been doing really well. Okay. But like, come back soon, you know? Yeah. I really need your help. Sure. So much easier. Apparently, it's against the slave law. That's a shame. Anyway, let's continue with our plans. We got what we need. And thus, our very first step of our plan begun. Later that night, I went to the market to buy men's clothing, which was rather difficult to find. But luckily, I got it. Then I went to cut Ellen's hair to make it more believable that she was my master. Because obviously, she can't be a woman. Thus, I cut it to make it more legit. After that, she put on her disguise, and we were off to go. We're gonna get our freedom. Don't worry, we'll be out of here soon. What's wrong? Why are you crying? What's wrong? What's wrong? This is this work. We're this close to getting our freedom. Don't let this chance go away. Come on. You can do this. Ellen. Are you ready? We got to do this. Ready? Let's go. Hello, sir. Can I help you with anything? Get a ticket, one for me and one for my 
Yeah, sure. Here you go. Give me board over here. Hey, you. You, the slave. You're supposed to go over there. Oh, 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 okay, okay. You, you have to go right there. Okay. to arrive in Savannah. My life as a slave so far was tough. It was lonely. It was not that interesting as well. But I must bear with it for the sake of our freedom. However, a few hours later, we arrived at Savannah and stopped at a hotel to rest. Later on, we got on board for Charleston, South Carolina, which was our next destination. After switching trains a few times, we finally got onto the steamer to Washington on Frederick Day. <laughs> Later, after the huge intense conversation, the old woman got off her stop, and the gentleman got off at the next station beyond. After a few more minutes later, we landed in Washington, where we took a conveyance and quickly went to the train for Baltimore. Hey, you there. Stop. Yes? Where are you going? Uh, I'm going to the parents next to my last day. I'm sorry, but you have to go back to the office and, like, get permission before you go up there. Permission? Yeah, in the office. Right there. I can't let you go on. This is against the rules. Oh, 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 okay, wait. Yeah, I can't lose. I can't lose. I can't lose. 
see if they're able to drive off and take a carriage. Is this the end? I hope not. I'm going to call this to go to the office and explain. Hurry, we must go now. The carriage is leaving. Quick. The office should be in that way. Do you wish to see me? Yes, sir, I do wish to see you. See, we're not allowed to have slaves like this guy right here. Why is that? Come from Baltimore to, you know, head to Philadelphia. Why is that? Well, you see, if we if it's if it turns out that he's not your slave, right? And the real master comes, right? We're gonna be in trouble and we're gonna have to pay money to the master, okay? So therefore we cannot allow him to go on this train. There was no help left. We could not prove that Ellen was our true master. However, something came over the office. I'm really unsure what I should really do. I mean, should I do the right thing? They came a long way, and I really do pity them. Yes, uh, sir. Let the gentleman in the slave board this time. Thank you. Thank you very much. After a long ride and many difficulties, we finally landed at Philadelphia. to see the master, please. This is our form. Okay, let's do wait here. Hello, landlord. Where's your master? Uh, he... I'm not kidding. Where is your master? Yeah. I can't with you. Can't be your master. Let me ask you one more time. Where is your master? I don't think this will work. Maybe we should tell him the truth. Yeah, I think let's just tell the truth. Okay. After a few minutes or so. Ellen and I ended up telling the whole story to the landlord, and he seems uh, quite satisfied. Hmm, hmm. Oh, ah. Hmm, I see. Hmm, hmm, ah. Oh. I understand your situation. I think I might have some people that can help you. Hey, I've lost this. Over here. This guy will tell you everything you need to know. Well, I heard, I, heard, I heard the story, I heard the story. How about this? The abolitionists advised us to stay in Philadelphia for a few weeks, which we did. Then Ellen and I moved to Boston for at least two years, until the slave hunters came. It was then when Ellen and I escaped again, but this time to England, where we eventually had five children. After 20 years, we returned to the state and established a school in Georgia for free blacks. And that concludes our personal escape story.